Imagine I'm a robot and you have to help me get out of this room. For a human, all you have to do is locate the door and walk out. For a robot, it's not so simple. If you told me to just walk, it's unclear and I'd walk straight into a wall. For me, the robot, you have to list out every simple step like this. Walk two steps, stop, turn left, walk another five steps, and then go through the door. What we've just written here can be thought of as a simple algorithm. Algorithms are just an itemized series of steps that outline how to perform a certain process. We see them everywhere in our daily lives, from building manuals to recipes. Algorithms in computer science are the same thing, just a list of instructions for the computer to follow to accomplish a certain goal. With the word algorithms, you often hear the term machine learning. When I first heard of this, I would always think of a human brain being able to make conscious decisions, but this is not the case at all. Think back to my robot from the beginning, right? A computer doesn't have a brain. It can't make decisions like you and I can, and machine learning is not about the computer suddenly developing the ability to think for itself. Instead, it just follows instructions in previously built algorithms to take input data and make mathematical models that it can then use to predict future results. Machine learning is not about the computer actively learning as we know it. Instead, it's all about the math behind data analysis and modeling. Here's a simplified example of the most intuitive type of machine learning algorithm, supervised machine learning. Imagine I'm the robot again. This time, the goal is to implement a machine learning algorithm to determine if an object is a book or not. First, a researcher presents me with an object and then tells me what the right answer is. With each new object, I'm looking at all of its features to determine what defines a correct answer, and the algorithm I'm using takes all of this information to make and refine a model. The idea is that once I've seen a sufficient amount of objects, the next new object I see, I should be able to determine on my own whether that's a book or not. Now this sounds like it should work perfectly, but what if you showed me a textbook? All of the books in the training data happen to be light and small, so the model came to associate that with being a book. Now when I'm shown with a large and heavy object, I'm not likely to put that in the correct category. Although this seems like just a simple mistake, it actually points to an increasingly worrying problem in the field called algorithmic bias. It's when error is built into the model because of biased data, and it has real-world consequences. The example I gave earlier with the books is similar to one of the many types of bias called latent bias, when a stereotype that exists in society is demonstrated in the data and becomes ingrained in the model. Being small and lightweight doesn't make something a book, but this is what was amplified by the model because that's what it saw in the data. A real example of this is how Amazon had to get rid of a machine learning based resume scanning tool they were building because it was discriminating against women. The model was trained with resumes the company received, which, as the STEM gender gap shows, were disproportionately from men. Gender has absolutely no relation to the quality of a candidate, but because the data was biased, the model came to associate being male with getting the job and started denying applications from women. Machine learning is an extension of ourselves and the society. Our world is being transformed by this tool, but we have to be vigilant about whether it is truly being made for all the people we are trying to serve. Thank you.